now that uh, we have built the entire lightning web component project and each and every functionality is working right so it's time to you know take a step back and then see what features that we did learn in this in this entire uh, uh, entire journey so the very first thing is uh, we did use code builder you know for building this entire project uh, so using this code builder beta version uh, you know we did not install any any tool right on our machine right instead we just used our code builder and then completed the entire project number one and also we did learn a lot of features right a lot of we used a lot of features uh, lightning web component features while building this entire project correct so we created all the components from the scratch and then we ensured that the targets are properly set so that it can be used only in the app page and then we used multiple components right dependent and independent components so different components we used decorators to share a public properties custom events to share the data for independent components right uh, we used lighting message service correct and also we used third party libraries in our project now we know how to load a particular uh, file from static resource and then use it back in lightning web component we use html directives like for loop if else right so such things we used and also we used uh, lightning design framework throughout the project to ensure that it is mobile responsive or it is responsive uh, you know to work across multiple devices isn't it so we used uh, lightning data service so we had written apex method and then we made a call to apex method we used back in our lightning web component we used base components which also brings data from the database without writing uh, any additional apex code correct and wherever needed we used lifecycle hooks as well connected callback disconnected callback etc and also we used an open api for uh, for using you know for bringing a random image to the user so we did that as well and uh, again wherever needed we used lightning design system assets the icons uh, the images etc so everything is done and completed and the entire code that we worked uh, you know, the that is the entire project code is available in this particular code refer in this particular code um, uh, repository so this is a public repository you can also take a look at this uh, project code and then you know if you want you can download and then keep it for reference so you can just simply download and then you know get this installed on your on your uh, scratch org or your playground org as well to see how this is working yeah so that's the end of our uh, project so i'll just uh, share the links you know for you to just refer the code and with that we will close this video series so anytime you can come back and then refer the complete project code right in the git repo thank you